Resolution number 2016-0169, adopting various changes to the Cuyahoga County non-bargaining classification plan. I refer to Human Resources Appointment and Equity Committee. Resolution number 2016-0170, supporting an application for funding under the Clean Ohio Green Space Conservation Program available through the Ohio Public Works Commission on behalf of Natural Areas Land Conservancy for the conservation of ecologically significant areas known as Shelter Hill Ravines located in the village of Hunting Valley. Refer to Education, Environment, and Sustainability Committee. The next three item, four items I will read by a little shorter title since they're very similar in nature. Resolution number 2016-0171, supporting an application for funding on behalf of Western Reserve Land Conservancy for areas known as Brexville Upland Preserve located in the city of Brexville. Refer to Education, Environment, and Sustainability Committee. Resolution number 2016-0172, supporting an application for funding on behalf of West Creek Conservancy for areas along the main stem of West Creek located in the city of Parma. Refer to Education, Environment, and Sustainability Committee. Resolution number 2016-0173, supporting an application for funding on behalf of Land Studio Incorporated for areas on Irish Town Bend Hillside along the Cuyahoga River located in the city of Cleveland. Again, refer to Education. Resolution number 2016-0174, supporting an application for funding on behalf of Doan Brook Watershed Partnership for floodplain and riparian corridor restoration of Doan Brook in the city of Cleveland. Also refer to education. Legislation introduced by executive. Consideration of resolutions for first reading adoption under suspension of rules. Can we have a motion to suspend rules 9D and 12A? Mike knows that's his job. Where is he? Right now. All right. Moved and second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. The rules are suspended. Resolution number 2016-0175, amending the 2016-2017 biannual operating budget for two appropriations for appropriation transfers and for cash transfers, amending resolution number 2016-0146, dated September 13, 2016, to reconcile appropriations for 2016. Moved to adopt. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? Uh, Mr. President? Yes. Uh, uh, of the finance committee, I would uh, mention that uh, that as usual, we reviewed these requests. We uh, we uh, uh, sent in a few questions and got answers back from the administration, and and we're happy with the responses and recommend that the uh, legislation be approved. Thank you. Thank you. All those in favor. Resolution number 2016-0176, approving a collective bargaining agreement between Cuyahoga County and Laborers International Union of North America, Local 860, representing approximately 12 employees and five classifications at the Department of Health and Human Services, Division of Children and Family Services, for the period January 1, 2016 through December 31, 2017, directing that funds necessary to implement the collective bargaining agreement be budgeted and appropriated. I'll make a motion to adopt. Second. Moved and seconded. Uh, this item was previously discussed in executive session. So all those in favor of adoption say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Resolution number 2016-0177, approving a collective bargaining agreement between Cuyahoga County and American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees, Ohio Council 8, AFL-CIO, Local 3631, representing approximately 70 employees in the classification of Assistant Public Defender for the period January 1, 2016 through December 31, 2018, directing that funds necessary to implement the collective bargaining agreement be budgeted and appropriate. I'll make a motion to adopt this item. Second. Moved and seconded. Again, this item was discussed in our executive session meeting. Uh, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? The ayes have it. Consideration of resolutions for first reading of the committee. 
Resolution number 2016-0178, authorizing an amendment to a revenue generating agreement with University Hospitals Health System Incorporated for lease of space in the Samuel R. Gerber Cuyahoga County Medical Examiner's Building located at 11001 Cedar Avenue, Cleveland for the period July 30, 1996 through May 31, 2016 to extend the time period to May 31, 2017 and for additional revenue in the amount not to exceed $465,045. This item will be referred to Public Works. Resolution number 2016-0179, declaring that public convenience and welfare requires culvert replacement of Bradley Road Culvert C-00.67 over French Creek in the city of North Olmsted. Total estimated project cost $756,000. Finding that special assessments will neither be levied nor collected to pay for any part of the public works. Resolution number 2016-0180, declaring that public convenience and welfare requires culvert replacement of Bradley Road Culvert C-05.44 over Walker Ditch in the city of Westlake. Total estimated project cost $581,000, finding that special assessments will neither be levied nor collected to pay for any part of the county's cost of said improvement. Referred to public works. Resolution number 2016-0181, declaring that public convenience and welfare requires culvert replacement of Lindbergh Boulevard Culvert C-00.93 over a creek to West Branch of Rocky River in the city of Olmsted Falls. Total estimated project cost $744,000. Finding that special assessments will neither be levied nor collected to pay for any part of the county's cost of said improvement. Resolution number 2016-0182, making an award on requisition number 37533 to Shermer Construction in the amount not to exceed $1,953,750 for rehabilitation of Cedar Road Bridge number 229 over Dome Brook in the city of Cleveland, authorizing the county engineer on behalf of the county executive to make an application for allocation from county motor vehicle $5 license tax funds. Referred to Public Works. Resolution number 2016-0183, authorizing an amendment to contract number CE-1300-507 for design engineering services for the Towpath Trail Stage 4 from Tremont Literary Trailhead to Canal Basin Park in Cuyahoga County to change the name of the provider from Michael Baker Jr. Incorporated to Michael Baker International Incorporated to change the scope of services in the terms effective July 12, 2016 and for additional funds in the amount not to exceed $1 million $43,913. Referred to Public Works. Resolution number 2016-0184, approving right-of-way plans as set forth in plat number M-5025 for reconstruction with additional turning lanes of Royalton Road from West 130th Street to York Road in the city of North Royalton, authorizing the county executive through the Department of Public Works to acquire special assessments will neither be levied nor collected to pay for any part of the county's cost of said improvement. Referred to Public Works. Resolution number 2016-0185, authorizing a contract with FIG Capital Investments as purchaser and servicer in the amount not to exceed $50 million for the sale of tax lien certificates. On this item, we have a, uh, a proposed substitute. Mr. Chairman, we do a uh, proposed substitute for resolution 2016-0185. And so what we're doing, we are... Uh, redlining fit capital investments and in, in, in inserting the name tax ease Ohio LLC in front of all council members you should have this document uh, with the change and we all have it in our packet uh, as reviewing uh, do we have a motion to accept the proposed substitute Second. moved and seconded uh, any discussion on the proposed substitute if not, all those in favor of accepting the proposed substitute say aye. Aye. Any opposed? The ayes have it. And now uh, we will refer this item to Community Development Committee. Resolution number 2016-0186, authorizing an amendment to contract number CE-1200, doing business as frontline service for transitional housing program services for the period June 1, 2012 through September 30, 2016, to extend the time period to September 30, 2017, and for additional funds in the amount not to exceed $1,222,993. This item will be referred to Health Human Services and Aging Committee. 
Committee reports and consideration of resolutions for second reading. Resolution number 2016-0141, making awards on requisition number 29315 to various providers in the total amount not to exceed $23,849,601 for various services for the Enterprise Resource Planning System for various time periods to the providers and the amounts for the services and for the time periods is printed on the agenda. Uh, this is on for second reading, uh, but if there's any discussion about the item, if not, we'll move to the October 11th meeting. Resolution number 2016-0153, confirming the county executive's appointment and reappointment of various individuals to serve on the Cleveland Cuyahoga County Workforce Development Board for an unexpired term ending June 30, 2019, as printed on the agenda. Okay, uh, again, second reading suspension, but if there is any discussion required, if not, we will move again to the October, to the October 11th meeting. Resolution number 2016-0154, confirming the county executive's appointment and reappointment of various individuals to CIV Health Services Planning Council. No discussion, this will be moved to our October 11th meeting. Resolution number 2016-0156, authorizing a utility agreement with City of Olmstead Falls for installation and maintenance of a joint sanitary sewer operation, maintenance, and repair of pump stations and wastewater treatment plants, and maintenance and repair of storm and sanitary sewers located in County Sewer District Number 14. Uh, this item will be moved to October 11th Council meeting. Resolution number 2016-0158, authorizing an economic development fund, business growth, and attraction loan in the amount not to exceed $2 million to 105th Cedar Partners for the benefit of a project located at East 105th Street and Cedar Avenue, Cleveland. If, if, no, if there's any desire to address the item, it, we will move. <clears throat> Committee reports and consideration of resolutions for second reading adoption under suspension of rules. Can we have a motion to suspend Rule 9D? Mr. Vice I move to suspend the rules. Second. Mr. 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 <clears throat> yes. Councilman? I'd like to ask that uh, that on resolution 2016-0167 uh, that, that this not be included in the uh, suspension resolution and that we consider suspension that, on that item when we get to it. That's the one where the uh, uh, bid protest uh, took place. Okay. Repeat that one more time. What is your request? That the motion to suspend the rules not include this item and that we uh, consider whether we're going to suspend. We certainly had comments uh, during our public comment time. Uh, what we, the, Mr. Vice President, if I may, I'm sorry. Yes, as the uh, chairman of the committee. I, I was going to wait until we got to that point, but I, I would imagine this is a good time. If we could have the law director give give us a, his opinion on, uh, on the uh, challenge and our response well let, let me do that the, where does that disappear in our agenda uh, uh it's uh it's the second last it's, item it's on yes. page 17. page 17 yeah Is that item 14. yes and we're on item one let's continue with the agenda and when we get to 14 then let's follow the chairman's lead and and have the comment okay made. you have a motion on the floor though the uh is that the motion before us is to suspend the rules and in their uh, in their public testimony the uh, the the, uh, the speaker requested that we consider not suspending the rules and letting this go uh, until the next council meeting and, and I think uh, uh, before we vote on suspending the rules we should at least hear from the administration and and uh, and get some sense as to whether there's there's no. any reason for uh, honoring that re request that was made to us. I hear you, and, and Ms. Tracy Francis did make that request. So let, let's do this second that. at that time. Moved and seconded. All in favor, say aye. 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 At okay. this time, Mr. Triazzi, if you would uh, share with your opinion of, of what's going on, legal opinion. 
you know, I've identified no irregularities in the procurement process in this, this matter. All the ordinances, procurement rules have been followed. Uh, we're, we, we're in compliance with all the ordinances of, of, of the county. We're also in compliance with the public records law, as you heard, is, you know, really the root of the, the, uh, of, of the protest was in a request for the public records. Uh, under Ohio law, uh, these are, do not become public records until the contract is awarded. These public records will be, should council act on this ordinance here tonight and approve this contract, we will comply with the public records request. That's how, that's how the law is, is written. Uh, we are in, in complete compliance with the public records laws. You know, further, you know, this council uh, uh, properly noticed and held a, a, a hearing on this, on this ordinance and on this contract. Um, it, it, all of the opportunities to be heard on it was, uh, it was available by this council. Uh, the reference to the Cleveland.com report was simply the reporter's coverage of that public hearing on this contract on, under this ordinance. Uh, I, can, I, I can see no reason why this council cannot proceed uh, with consideration of this ordinance at this time. There's no legal, uh, no legal restriction uh, you know, to doing that. Uh, this council, this county, the procurement rules, and the public records laws, it is ripe for your consideration. Councilman Miller. To act, uh, do we have any idea what their protest could be based on? They have not identified it. I am a receipt of a, a letter that they sent. Uh, the, the, uh, there's no identifiable assertion of any, any violation of any, any rule. Uh, it just simply uh, a request that um, they be given the opportunity to review the records that they're not, you know, they're they're not ripe to give to them. So even putting this off to another hearing, councilman, doesn't change the fact that we're not, you know, these are not public records. So uh, I am not aware of any specific allegation of any irregularity, any wrongdoing. Nothing has been brought to my attention. Again, the protest is rooted in the fact that that uh, they have asked for. The, the 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 scoring record all of that that they're not uh, that will not be able to give to them until such time as this council awards a contract so president director uh, were there only two bidders on this contract or were there more there were three bidders uh, three bidders okay. any further discussion or questions from the committee I guess to the chair, to the law director, just to clarify, you stated that even if we didn't suspend the rules and we went three readings, that they still last until after this contract is voted. Under, uh, yeah, under, under, under state law, that this does not become a public record until such time as a contract is approved by, by this council. So I'm, you know, we will be at, at the same situation uh, two weeks from now at, uh, if that was one of third, yeah, at the third reading. And when you say approved by this council, when we say the vote tonight, or does that include the county executive signing off on the contract? Well, it would it would be available to them. These records would be available to them as early as tomorrow. Okay. Mr. Chairman, Council, if the law department has stated that we've met all requirements and we're in compliance, I don't understand the reason for us to uh, to to not allow for second reading suspension. Mr. Chair. Any further comment? I, I would request uh, if Mr. Uh, if Mr. Miller is satisfied to, or we, we can add this, I'll make the motion to add this for second reading suspension, if he's satisfied with the answers. The only thing that I did hear from the, from the counselor was uh, something about the plain dealer receiving information. I don't know where that came from. The reporter wasn't present and we stream live. I would assume she watched our live feed which all the information was uh, discussed at that at correct, that meeting, correct. so that was public and that is available uh, today for, uh, for anybody wishing to, to look at it. Uh, Mr. President, a uh, situation like this, would you normally make any attempt to uh, 
to get with the protester and and uh, and have an informal discussion and see if uh, see if the issues can be resolved without there being a threat of litigation or 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 is it or is there a fear that this might uh, impair your legal rights and you don't want to do that? What's how, how is that approached? Media line, we will we will share the information at the appropriate time. It's such a reputable firm. I'm, I'm happy to engage in any any discussion. There, there there is a timing sequence here. We will engage. We will have the discussions. Will be uh, you know if anything is suggested to us that needs our consideration, we will we will consider that. But uh, we will have that, um, you know, uh, I'm, I'm happy to have that dialogue. Again, I, I know these folks, and, and uh, at the appropriate time, we will engage. So, uh, Mr. President, Director, uh, you can't give them the, the records till after you sign a contract, is that correct? Well, the, 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 uh, the, the law is after it's been awarded, and, and I take that as the council's decision to award the contract. So it's, it's – um, uh, they, will, they will have this information uh, tomorrow. They've, they've properly – they, they, will, they will have it. But, uh, so, uh, so, Mr. President, Director, you could, you could talk to them after we approve it, something that you hadn't considered that is a problem that, uh, that you could – you could not sign it, and and uh, and we could deal with it from there. If that's if that's if that's the case, yes, yeah. you could. Okay. Was there a question, Councilman Jamana? I guess uh, the only question I have is if the lowest or best bid it doesn't have to be the lowest bid, but it may it was, may be determined that it was the best bid. Uh, and generally, that's why we have three readings, because if there's some information uh, about the award, um, we'd like to hear about it. If, if, it's, if there's some value of saying it's not the best bid or the, it, the, the, the lower bid, uh, so I'm, I'm just wondering if it's price or if it's a uh, question of the best. Do, do you have any idea? I, I think the comment was made uh, based on price. Councilman, this, this was a subject of a full council committee hearing. All of these matters were part of that, that airing of this contract. As so, so those issues as to whether or not this was in the, uh, the lowest and best, that's the appropriate forum. You, you, you proper, this body properly noticed and held the committee hearing on this, and that's the best that's the purpose of the, uh, of that re that review. Um. Oh, I, I actually was present for that, mm -hmm. and I know in public works when there is a multiple contracts, you know, we look closely at what the bids were and and, and so on. So, um, I feel comfortable is looking for this. I'm just questioning if. It Do you know? Well, Mr. Chairman, uh, the company that came in, did they come in second? I would assume. I yes. don't even know that. Um, they had every opportunity to be here. We properly posted it. Um, I have not heard anything from the statement from the attorney, unless she has more, as to any specifics as to, uh, I remember the plain dealer thing, which has been explained. Um, I, I don't see anything there unless until we pass this, we're not going to release the information because we can't. So I'm comfortable moving forward. We have to rely on the expertise of our legal team who has recommended that we move forward. Is that a motion? I would, I would make the motion to, to add Resolution 2016-0167, the second reading suspension. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Ayes have it. Uh, uh, 
right, moving on to resolution number 2016-0142, authorizing a contract with $595,935.06 for Oracle database software support and maintenance for the period June 1, 2016 through May 31, 2018. Is there a motion? Moved to adopt. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? If no discussion, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Resolution number 2016-0151, confirming the county executive's appointment of various individuals to serve on the Cuyahoga County Audit Committee for various terms as printed on the agenda. Moved Second. Moved Seconded. Any discussion? Just ask that this committee, um, committee of the whole, vote for both of these individuals, which were vetted at Human Resources Appointment and Equity Committee. Thank you. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? The resolution is adopted. Resolution number 2016-0152, confirming the county executive's appointment of abuse and child neglect regional prevention council of the Ohio Children's Trust Fund, representing the Great Lakes region for an unexpired term ending December 31, 2018. Moved adopt. Second. Moved and seconded. Are there any? Is there any discussion? Um, yes, I would just like to say, uh, um, ask the committee of the whole to uh, please. Um, vote on this. Uh, Jennifer Grossman, I believe, was at committee and uh, we learned a lot about the Child Abuse and Child Neglect Regional Prevention Council. So I'd ask that we move move to approve. Mr. Pre Ms. Grossman has almost 20 years of experience with the Department of Children and Family Services and, and the Department of Health and Human Services in, in a variety of different very responsible positions and she is eminently well qualified to uh, serve on this commission. Thank you. All right, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? 2016-0155, accepting the rates as determined by the Budget Commission, authorizing the necessary tax levies and certifying them to the county fiscal officer and declaring the necessity that this resolution become immediately effective. Move to adopt. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? Yes. Uh, Mr. Chairman and, and, and my colleagues, this was reviewed in Finance and Budget Commission. It's, uh, it's a, a routine requirement that we have to do every year to uh, meet state requirements, and, and I ask for the Council's approval. Thank you. All right. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Resolution number 2016-0157, authorizing an amendment to contract number CE-1400-100 with HDR Engineering Incorporated for design services for rehabilitation of North Main Street Bridge number 00.12 over Chagrin River in the village of Chagrin Falls to change the scope of services effective September 13, 2016 and for additional funds in the amount not to exceed $644,290. Chairman, move for adoption. Second. Seconded. All in favor, say, uh, any discussion? We uh, heard this in public works and procurement and contracting. Uh, this is a much needed uh, repair to the bridge rehabilitation, so we recommend approval. All right, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Resolution number 2016-0159, authorizing an economic development fund loan in the amount not to exceed $2 million to Growth Opportunity Partners Incorporated to be used as capital for the accelerated growth program to be administered by Growth Opportunity Partners Incorporated. Seconded. Any discussion? Mr. Chairman, yes. Uh, this uh, 0159 was thorough in support of this, this uh, piece of um, a legislation here before you. Uh, the primary goal of this project are to identify five businesses and further their realistic growth plans for more e efficiently and effectively and with less risk. Uh, we ask for the committee's support. Thank you. All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. 
Resolution number 2016-0160, authorizing amendments to various revenue generating agreements with Educational Service Center of Cuyahoga County for lease of space at various Cuyahoga County Board of Developmental Disabilities Centers for operation of Help Me Grow programs for the period September 15, 2013 through September 14, 2016 to extend the time period to September 14, 2018 and for additional revenue, each in the amount not to exceed $2 is printed on the agenda. Second. Um, Favors, uh, any discussion? Mr. Chairman, we, we heard this in, in committee. Of course, this is uh, the uh, Cuyahoga County Board of Deve Developmental Disabilities uh, making available space that is uh, available and for $2 for two year uh, period. So we recommend approval. Uh, any discussion? I'm, uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Councilwoman Conwell, as you stepped out of the room, your colleagues voted in the affirmative on item resolution 2016-0159. And since it is declaring the necessity to become to vote on that item? Yes. Thank you. Resolution number 2016-0161, seven verses for the period September 1, 2016 through August 31, 2018. I move to adopt. Second. Moved and seconded. Uh, this program provides transportation to and from medical appointments throughout Cuyahoga County. It has served over 600 clients and provides 20,000 rides a month. And I ask my colleagues to support. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Resolution number 2016-0162, authorizing an amendment to contract number CE-16024 with Northwoods Consulting Partners Incorporated for on the Office of Child Support Services Electronic Document Management 16 to extend the time period to June funds in the amount not to exceed $1,397,645. Any discussion? If no discussion, uh, all yes, please continue. Mr. President, my colleagues, this, uh, this item was reviewed in Finance and Budget Committee and unanimously recommended, and we ask for your approval. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Resolution number 2016-0163, authorizing an amendment to contract number CE-1500-128 with Catholic Charities Corporation for various services for Ohio Works First and Disability Financial Assistance recipients with barriers to employment for the period July 1, 2015 through June 30, 2016 to extend the time period to June 30, 2017 and for additional funds in the amount not to exceed $977,321. And here we have a proposed substitute uh, to uh, deal with technical items, technical changes. And we have a motion and a second uh, to accept the proposed substitute. Uh, any discussion? If not, all those in favor of accepting the proposed substitute say aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. With the acceptance of the proposed substitute, uh, uh, do we have any further discussion on the uh, item at itself? Excuse Mr. me, President? Mr. Oh. Mr. President. Councilman. We have not had a motion on the, uh, on the substitute on its merits, so I'm going to make that motion for approval. Yes, thank you. We have a motion and a second. Again, any discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Resolution number 2016-0164, authorizing a contract with the Salvation Army in the amount not to exceed $527,499 for the past transitional housing program in connection with fiscal year 2015 Continuum of Care, Homeless Assistance Grant Programs, and Hearth Act for the period October 1, 2016 through September 30, 2017. I move to adopt. Second. Moved and seconded. Uh, this program assists single homeless males who are working towards obtaining sobriety, employment, and permanent housing. And I ask for my colleague's support. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? 
Ayes have it. Resolution number 2016-0165, making awards on requisition number 36156 to various providers in connection with the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act for the period July 1, 2016 through June 30, 2017 to the providers in the amounts and for the programs and or services as printed on the agenda. Second. Moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Uh, Mr. Chair, these items were discussed in the uh, Education, Environment, and Sustainability uh, Committee. These uh, providers give services to our youth a ranging from ages 16 to 24 in the areas of employment skills, technical training, leadership development, mentoring, um, occupational and entrepreneurial ship, uh, skills, as well as um, supportive services for mentoring and financial literacy. So I urge my colleagues' support. Mr. Chairman. Please add my name. Thank you. Mr. And Mr. mine as Pettit. well. Mine as well. Councilman Brown, Councilwoman, Councilman Miller, Councilman Hairston, Con and the others, Conway, and Con my goodness, Councilwoman Conwell. And add my name as well. Okay. Gallagher. I have Hairston, Brown, Councilman. Miller, Conwell, Jones, and Simon. And Gallagher. Germana and Gallagher. Gallagher and, and Germana. Yes. <laughs> Gangs Thank you. On. Yes. All right. Okay. Again, if there's no further discussion, all those in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed. All right. The item is accepted. Adopted. Uh, Jean, if you read our next item. Resolution number 2016-0166, making awards on requisition number 36158 to various providers for various services in connection with the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act for the period July 1, 2016 through June 30, 2017 to the providers in the amounts and for the programs and or services as printed on the agenda. That. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? Yes, uh, Mr. Chair, these items were also heard in the education environment. These service providers offer services for the pop, uh, reentry population, um, high school students that um, are getting their education online, as well as um, job seeker um, and resume building type services. So I, once again, I, I strongly uh, urge my colleagues' support. Uh, Mr. Madam Clerk, please add my name. And add mine as well. Mr. President, mine as well. Hello? All right. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Resolution number 2016-0167, making a revenue generating award on requisition number 32983 to secure us. Technologies Incorporated in the estimated amount of $12 million for inmate communication and financial management systems for the period October 1, 2016 through September 30, 2024. Move to adopt. Um, Mr. Vice Madam, I think this would be an appropriate time for Mr. Bova to come up and answer any questions anyone may have going forward. Questions? No questions, Mr. Miller. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. The resolution is adopted. Resolution number 2016-0168, authorizing a contract with $153,828.80 for community-based treatment center services for the period July 1, 2016 through June 30, 2017. Moved and seconded. All, uh, any discussion? Say aye. Aye. Okay. Consideration of an ordinance for first reading and referral to committee. Ordinance number 2016-0012, amending section 303.01 of the Cuyahoga County Code to update the Civil Service Code of Cuyahoga County as amended. 
refer to Human Resources Appointment and Equity Committee. Is there any miscellaneous committee reports? Are there any? Yes. On behalf of the Finance and Budget Committee, uh, that committee will hold its next meeting at its regularly scheduled time on Monday, October 3rd at 1 o'clock p.m. to discuss the finances of the county. Uh, public Works Contracting will meet on October 5th at its regularly scheduled time at 10 o'clock. Uh, Mr. Miller will be chairing, as I said at the last meeting, uh, I have a conflict with that time, and should it happen that we do not have a quorum, we would call a meeting for Friday at 10 o'clock. No? Okay. The Health and Human Services Committee meeting will meet at its regular time on October 5th at 1, at 1 p.m. All right, Mr. Chair, uh, Human Resources Appointment and Equity would be October 4th at 10 a.m., um, but consi in consideration for any members that are here, if you can make the finance and budgeting October 3rd, meaning that we'll be going over the health benefits. I didn't get that. Any community development? Tax relief, tax relief. Oh, okay, so sustainability um, will meet on October 5th at 3. There are no other committee reports. Is there any miscellaneous business from council? If not, Jean, has anyone signed in for public comment? There is no one. Mm -hmm. Well, your girlfriend's been calling me. Like okay. that All right. I don't know. Well, if no one else is signed in and nothing else holds our attention, our meeting is adjourned.